This here is Backwoods Billy coming to the beautiful Delmarva Eastern Shore. Remember to click, like, and subscribe to Backwoods Billy Craft Beer Reviews on YouTube. Check me out on Backwoods Billy CBR on Twitter. Backwoods Billy Craft Beer Reviews on Facebook coming soon and on Vino. And Backwoods Billy Craft Beer Reviews on Google+. Plus. So definitely subscribe to YouTube. Remember to click, like, subscribe, and comment what you think of the video. Happy Cinco de Mayo Day. I want a Don Chalada. Mexican Michelada. I want a Don Chalada Michelada. Now, what is the big deal about Don Chalada Michelada? What is that about? It's a beer booster, hangover helper. All you have to do, this is convenient, is fill it with cold beer once you take the packet out. You just pull this down, bust this down. It's the number one selling um, Michelada mix in a cup. Made in the United States. The original recipe is from Mexico, so this is the original thing. It has the mega moist rim. So the, the rim around here, if you want to leave, use the cup, which this one I have open to get ready to do the review, this is the original formula. This is the lemon lime. This is the hot one, right? Spicy flavor. And this is the um, original. So as you can see, it's a styrofoam cup. You want to pour your beer in here. It tells you you can pour 24 ounces in here. It says, Take the um, take, take it off the lid, empty the um, enclosed spices into your cup, fill with 24 ounces of your favorite beer, pour slowly so that the suds can settle. Once your Don Chilada Michelada is filled, stir and enjoy. Our rich formula allows for an additional 12 ounces of beer to be added when you're halfway into the Don Chilada. Don't stop there. Depending on your taste, you can add another um, beer, one last beer. Now, basically, they're telling you can have 48 ounces of beer for this one pack. And it depends. You may want it heavier, you may want it lighter, whatever you want to do with it is up to you. Depends on your taste. Now this is the powdered mix. I didn't bring all the here. And this one is the um, liquid. This is the original, but they have the liquid for all the different flavors as well. One there. And then this one is the salts, beer salts. You can add to the beer, you can uh, rim the glass with this. It says, um, Cook with them all too, right? Yeah, you can cook with these as well. It's a barbecue team that's won a lot of uh, awards that's using their spices in their dishes um, on the grilling contest. There's ingredients on here, basic chili, chili powder, lemon pepper, sea salt, um, chili powder again, sugar, citric acid. Every ingredient here is natural. There's no artificial preservatives. There's nothing in here that's bad for you. You have a bunch of reactions to say chili powder or something, but everything in here is a natural ingredient, so that's a big thing with it. The thing I like about it is it's portable. So if you want to go camping, if you want to go fishing, boating, going to the beach, if you want to go on a hunting trip after the nighttime, sit around a fire pit, this can go right with you to there. Not a problem. Just pull this off, pour your beer in, and do your mixes there. So. Even though that we're coming up on Cinco de Mayo Day, by the way, it's going to be Saturday this, this year, 2018. Every year it's May 5th. It celebrates basically when, um, I'll put this all in here, they defeated the French Mexican army and it was, um, they were not favored. It was a under, they were underdogs and they beat them. So it's a celebration every year. Some people call it Mex Mexican Independence Day. Um, of course, in America, we use it as a holiday to drink. Sort of like St. Patty's Day, and this is in the same category as St. Patty's Day. However, um, in Mexico and other parts of South America, this drink is drank all year long for parties, and they tend to put not all the time, but they can put ice in there in the thing, and they put like lemons, limes, oranges for the fruit around. So people put shrimp around there. You can use clamato juice, tomato juice, anything you want. So if you want to add that type of stuff to this, you can. But it's done. I like it's convenient. You just go to the beach, you're good to go. Now what we're going to do here. I already pre-opened it. Mm -hmm. Did I take too long last time? No, I just didn't want you to be wasting it. I'm going to do rim the glass, whether it be beer, water, roses, lime juice, lemon juice, it all works. It depends how much you want on here, how big a rim you want. And glass is rimmed rather simply. And all I gotta do is add my spices. And I add my dogfish flush and blood. Uh, this is a craft beer. And actually, um, I received this, uh, basically Terry was talking to her, she's the marketing director over there. 
And they were like, well, I don't know about craft beer people, but they were, you know, going to go for this as much. They'll generally just use a regular lager. I'm like, well, you know, there's no reason not to use a craft beer because we're going to use a dogfish that had flesh and blood. Here's why I want to use this. 45 IBUs. You don't know a lot about IBUs. International bittering units. 40 to 70 is typical IPA. It's in the lower end. This actually has the blood of orange, the zest of the, of the blood orange. Uh, they call it the flesh. It has the juice of the lemon. It has some lime in it. And it's the spicy hops. Some hops with pine resins notes, grapefruit notes, and tropical fruit notes to it. So as you can see, this normally would be like an SRM 12, somewhere in that category. It makes the beer darker, and it was like a light tan head, so it, it makes it more of a red color. Orange. It could be spicy. So you have like a sweet and spicy now. And that's what I'm saying. This, this beer is, on the hop side, more fruity, um, with the malt you're getting toffee and caramel, mainly caramel. And a little bit of biscuit notes, but mainly caramel. This is going to add a nice spicy note to it. This would go really well if you're going to grill a chicken, wouldn't it? You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? This type of thing. To put Some wings. Mm. Yeah, big wings. Spicy. The hops bitterness is not over overdone. The beer fish is on the slightly drier side. It's not too dry. This adds a nice spicy character to a beer that's on the fruitier side. To me, it's a backwards Billy Two Thumbs Up. Now, I've used these in the regular lagers. So if you want to utilize Budweiser, Miller, High Life, Miller Light, Budweiser Light, Budweiser Light Platinum, um, you want to use Genesee, Old Milwaukee, Schaefer, Narragansett, and here in Natty Bow, Lone Star in Texas. You want to use uh, Modelo for a, a, a true shallot if you use a Mexican lager. If you want to use the Estrella Halesco, which is the one I did a review on, I did the lemon lime, I use the lemon lime. If you want to use Corona, uh, Tecate, whatever you want to use, or how about 21st Amendments, Al Sully, which is a, a craft beer one, or how about O'Connor's Al Guapi, the handsome one, which is a Mexican style beer, it's got the guavi leaf in it, um, brewed in Virginia Beach area. Number one selling the Chilada Company US. It's a beer booster and hangover help. It was originally, the, there was a gentleman, I, I have his in the first review, I'll put something about him as well. He was in a hotel, he'd come in every time, we had a hangover, he'd order it, and the glass was close to Michelada, and he just came up with the Michelada, for the name of it, and I'll put the whole story, and it's kind of neat. And it took off, everybody started drinking the drink, became very popular, it's popular right now all around the world, and the thing that's been for the last two years, beer cocktails, last year really boomed, and this year it's booming more. That's the big thing right now, is beer cocktails. And years ago, when we were, what, five, six years ago, we go to Union Craft Brewing and also Victory in Pennsylvania. But in, in Baltimore, Union would do the orange juice and the beer. Remember that? Infused, yeah. Infused, yeah. yeah they did like that. And also, Third Wave does the fusions. Dogfish had to do, they have a little part of it, like a little tube, and it comes out with the fruit in it. We did Third Wave. They're the ones in the event they have a little thing comes out for your beer right at the tap. To whatever beer you want to add more fruit flavor to it. Or you put jellies in it you want. So if you want to celebrate Cinco de Mayo Day, May 5th, it's a Don Chilada Machilada. I highly recommend it. You can go to Walmart and get this, your liquor store and get this, 7 Eleven and get this. Um, directly from them? Directly from donchilada.com. I'll put the link in there. You can also go to amazon.com and get it from there, or walmart.com, eBay. Any of those places have it. It's the number one selling one. It's definitely the best thought out when some of the ones that have the mix are not individual packets they're just loose in here and the seal is not the best on the top these are well sealed and they already ran your glass with it the glass is ran if you want to use it but you couldn't see the color of it and personally i prefer to drink out of a glass backwards billy recommends for your chalada whether you're going to use an ipa or you want to use a regular lager a pilsner lager style beer or mexican lager style beer all is fine i recommend the pint glass for this or the mug more so the pint glass easy to drink out of um if oh, you want to put ice too. in it, you can. If you want to put clamato juice, yeah. To me, if I'm going to the beach, this is what I'm using. We're having a barbecue at the beach down in Assateague. They have little grills down there. I'm not carrying a ton of crap. I'm carrying this and my cooler of beers, put it in there, and I'm good to go. If you want to add ice, you can. It's up to you. There is no wrong way to do this. Backwoods Billy, two thumbs up. Hit you up some Dine Chilada Michelada mix today. I want a Dine Chilada Michelada. I want a Dine Chilada Michelada. I want a Dine Chilada 
Mexican michelada, right? Now, simple little song, simple little dance, it's like, I'm gonna die in michelada. Um, it's number it's number one thing. You can also, when you go to the store, you can click on here, you can check them out on YouTube, you can check them out on Twitter, check them out on Facebook and Instagram, and you can scan it, it comes back up. Uh, everything is pretty United States, made in the United States, and the film is from, is from Mexico. So, to me, you're getting the authentic thing. This is the best thought out one. It's a backwards Billy, two thumbs up. Have an awesome day, guys. And I'm going to give a recipe for my, I don't even used to call that chicken anyway. I haven't done it in probably since we had the winter. Um, my cheesy Italian, my drunken cheesy Italian Mexican. So it's very simple. Just some chicken, chicken breast or any kind of chicken. We use, we use breast. Skinless what we use, but it's up to you. And what we do is take the breast, you soak it in a little bit of beer with some spices like this on there. And you want to add some aguave, that works good. Put it on a grill, you can use brown sugar. As it's grilling, it's almost done. You put a little bit of your Mexican uh, cheese, four cheese blend, and your that's a four or five cheese Italian blend on top of it. And you, as it starts to melt, you add some more of these spices on it. And when it's done, it's awesome. You got the chili pepper, you got the lemon, you know, things, you got the sugar on there. It's sweet, it's hot, and it's cheesy. Back with Billy, two thumbs up. Have an awesome day, guys. Remember, it, the next Saturday. Saturday for the Cinco de Mayo day is 2029. That's a ways off. So if I was you, I would look to get my Cinco de Mayo on May 5th. Have an awesome day.